Hello and good morning. This is uh, my bathroom here at the beach. I actually really like it because it gets a lot of natural light in it and I'm about to put on um, some lipstick because today it's actually supposed to be rainy and it's not, very surprisingly. It actually rained overnight whereas the whole time we were looking at the forecast, Tuesday was supposed to be a rainy day. So we had already planned to go to our favorite sushi place to get lunch and then we're gonna go see the new Jurassic World movie. I think at like two o'clock in the afternoon, um, but it turns out that it is a beautiful sunny day today. I'm going to take my book out and sit on the beach. Alvin's already out there, um, but we're not like gonna get in the ocean or get wet or anything today. So we're gonna sit out there for a bit until like lunchtime and then we're gonna go get sushi and then go to a movie. So I'm just getting ready now so I don't have to do it later. By the way, this is the Maybelline Super Stay Ink Crayon. And so it literally is like a, a, a crayon and uh, it's really easy to put on. And I love that it's matte. What's up? None. That actually, it's not Brian. Brian's sitting down there. He's in front of his room. Oh. It's uh, very windy on the beach. Very windy? Oh, okay. Yeah. So if you, want to, if you want to just sit out and read, that's fine. On the porch, you mean? Yeah. Yeah. I'm just sitting over there on his side talking to him, so. Okay. I'm just getting like fully ready now so I don't have to like later when it's time to leave. All right, so makeup is done. I just put my hair up in a clip because I mean, I didn't know if it was gonna be messed up. I was thinking about maybe curling the ends later, but I actually kind of like this look a lot. I think it's really cute. Kind of shows that I, oh yeah, I have a dress on today. This dress I got from Goodwill, but technically I think it's from Old Navy. And then the belt is from like Goodwill. I just added a belt to it. And then for makeup today, I did a CeraVe uh, mineral sunscreen, but it's like tinted. And I actually really love this stuff. It is amazing for just like putting on when you want to look put together. Like this plus waterproof mascara is like, like your go-to. It should be your whole summer go-to, your whole beach go-to. I did, because we were going to be like inside, I did put like my normal powder and blush and stuff. My mascara is from last night. So I have the uh, waterproof, this one, the falsies Maybelline waterproof one. Um, and then I showed my makeup already in a different vlog. <laughs> I don't remember what day it was, but it was definitely more towards the beginning. Oh, and if you're curious about my lip color, so like this was the one that I used today. This is the Achieve It All 155. I also have it in a reddish color. For instance, like weddings or something where I'm actually going somewhere that's fancy. I also have it in this, which is like a burgundy, like berry. And this is settle for more it's number 65. this color always looks really good like with my hair and my skin i usually get like, clothes in that color but this is just good for like an everyday you know like you need something on your lips and even when it does come off later like it comes off really nicely so it still looks very nice and natural alvin did say it's like super windy out today i actually don't think there's that many people on the beach oh wow yeah there's like no one on the beach and look at these waves like the waves are super choppy and they're going the opposite way. They're coming this way instead of like they were going that way. It's also a lot chillier out today because of like the rain and stuff, but I'm just gonna sit here and uh, read my book this morning and drink my coffee. Oh, so 
so we went and saw Jurassic World. Well, we got sushi for lunch, then we saw Jurassic World. And then we decided to stop at the same ice cream place that we stopped at yesterday, which is called Holy Cow. They make all of their ice cream homemade. We just found them this year. It's really good. So last night, I had gotten three flavors. When we came back today, I got two flavors, but I still got the pistachio because it was so good. And they changed their flavors actually, um, like daily, they have a few new ones. So I got the banana pudding also. And then Alvin got an Aperol Spritz sorbet. And then what was the berry lemonade? Berry lavender. Berry lavender, but you haven't tried that one yet? Mm -hmm. But the Aperol Spritz is really good. And this pistachio is just like one of the best ever. The banana pudding's good too, but still pistachio is like my top fave. If you're ever in OBX. I don't know if you can see the sign, but it's called Holy Cow Ice Cream. Definitely go to them over. We used to go to Booty Treats, but Booty Treats doesn't make their ice cream homemade. And this one is just like way better. Alvin made dinner tonight. We have sausages and onions and peppers and mushrooms. It looks and smells super, super good. So look how beautiful the sunset is. There we go. Nice. Um, I have been reading Work of Light and I am, my goal is to finish it today. Let me take this out. We have been about doing things today because originally it was supposed to be a rainy day and it is like a lot colder today. A lot of people didn't have like an actual beach day because the waves were super choppy from the like rain. I think it rained and stormed last night. We saw Jurassic World and it was good. I'm a big fan of like the Jurassic Park and Jurassic World movies. The first half of it was really cheesy um, and there were a lot of like repetitive scenes from the previous movies um, but then the second half was really good and I definitely you know I was like on the edge of my seat because of all the dinosaurs. I love the dinosaurs. I still think that like the original Jurassic Park movies are like always gonna be the best. After we saw the movie, we went and got ice cream and then we came home, I read some more and then um, we made dinner and then now I'm just out here. So like we didn't actually have dinner until like later. Um, so it's actually 8.30 right now. So I am going to be trying to finish this up. I'm at 257 pages. So I think I only have like 100, yeah, like about 100 pages left. Um, so I think I can definitely finish this tonight. Although I did not edit my vlog from yesterday yet. I'm a little behind on all of that. Worst case scenario, I will edit it tomorrow. Um, but I really want to have a new book for tomorrow because I really enjoy reading like a book a day and then having like a fresh book to like start the morning off with. I was talking to my next door neighbor who is also a reader. Um, she brought the Diane Chamberlain, The Last House on the street and I was asking her about that and she said it was really good but she said she only brought one book um, for the week so I was like you are welcome to have part of my stash I said I brought 15 books um, but anyway she saw that I was reading Jodi Pico and she was like I read Wish You Were Here and I loved it and so I'm actually going to give this to her because um, she hasn't read this one so when I'm finished I'm going to give it to my beach next door neighbor um, so I just love being able to like bond over books it's so fun I'm actually really enjoying Spark of Light so far. Um, it feels like it's going to be a four star read. This is about a shooting and hostage situation that happens at a place called The Center, which is a like women's health slash abortion clinic. And we're following a bunch of different stories, which I appreciate because it's not, at least from where I have read so far, so like I'm not totally finished, but I don't feel like it's biased between one side or another. Like I don't feel like Jody is like pushing any specific agendas, but I think it gives a very clean cut picture of what each person thinks depending upon their personal like experiences with it. So it's like it shows um, this one young girl, Beth, who got an abortion and is being put on trial for it because it's like you would get 25 years in prison because of it. But then it's also showing um, Ren, who is a young girl who went to the clinic in order to get birth control. She was with her aunt and going to get birth control. It shows um, the perspective of the shooter who I guess 
lost his grandchild, I'm assuming, um, from abortion because he keeps like making references from that. It's showing people that don't have a choice. It's showing people that would like to make a choice. It's like, it's just a lot of different things that I feel like I didn't really have the perspective of because of being homeschooled. So I feel like I am learning a lot from this book. So I feel like it's an important read and I feel like it definitely is an eye opener because a lot of people don't know how to think about other people, you know, being able to relate. But yeah, so I'm not totally finished with it yet. Um, I will update you guys my complete thoughts once I get to the end. Um, I'm a, like, I thought there was gonna be a trial in here and there was a very, very, very tiny trial for the one girl, Beth, like technically should have received, I guess, a felony charge for it. Um, and I don't exactly know like what happened with that because it was like a very quick glance at it. But yeah, it even says on the back, this says it in way better words than I can. It says, told in a daring and enthralling narrative structure that counts backward through the hours of the standoff, the story traces what brought each of the very different individuals to the same place on this fateful day. How do we balance the rights of pregnant women with the rights of the unborn they carry? What does it mean to be a good parent? So it does have like, it says inspires debate, conversation, um, hopefully understanding. So I'm excited to see like how it actually is going to end. I actually think I'm gonna go inside though to finish reading because it's uh, getting pretty chilly out here. Mm -hmm.